we don't lost people in this shit. We we lost homies to the system. We lost homies to gun violence. Long look, long live Ja. Long live Drive. Crazy Will. Long live Steve Drive. For me, we lost. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Road Trip. In today's episode I am in Philadelphia, also known as Philly and I'm not gonna lie I was really excited to come here however when I landed my expectations and my reality didn't align like the people aren't as nice as I thought but it's fine, it's absolutely fine because today I'm going to be interviewing born and raised Philly rapper Remo and I'm really excited to interview him actually because I found him organically like I must have been searching up on like new music and I came across his music and I was like oh my god this guy is sick I've got to like interview him, I've got to get him on an episode of Road Trip so of course I had to fly out to Philly and here I am and today we're going to be hanging out I'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing it's going to be a spontaneous one which is always the best so yeah make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe and let's get the show the road. What is your name and where are you from? My name is Remo. I'm from West Philly. We all West right now. We all the bruise. What's the best and worst thing about living in Philly? The best thing about living in Philly? I ain't gonna lie, like the, the people I like I interact with, my my my, my family. Like, that's the best thing to me, like my family, my my friends and my family. So like <laughs> the hooper bashes. My hoopers, for me. What's the worst thing? What you say? What's the worst thing? It'd be a lot of hate and a dick rhyme. But like it ain't even that bit like you getting used to that shit, like where you get used to that shit like but it'd be a lot of, like just cause you you doing something and you you doing better than somebody else, you feel me? They they hate on you. And they don't even they don't gotta know you or nothing. Like it just be a lot of dick rhyme and weird shit going on. This is what the city really known for. It's a crab in a barrel ass city. Like a lot of people be pulling other people down just cause they ain't got shit type shit. The best stories is man when we used to be out here whooping niggas ass. Like I'ma keep it a bean. Like <laughs> see look, see look, we from West, like you know, in a lot of places it be it be when they beefs, they do be having block beefs and all. We got block beefs, but like back in the day, like when we, we was coming up. Name, we ain't missing no block name, but back in the day when we was coming up, it was like different parts of Market Street and shit that niggas was like, you know what I'm saying? If you from that side, we gonna fuck you up. If you from over there, we gonna fuck you up. So like we used to be in Haddington Park. We used to be all in there. Niggas thought it was cool to come in there one time, like just chill, like, like, cause back in the day we used to be cool with niggas, but shit happened, like nigga blood shit, shit like that. So we like, you know, that shit did. So they come here, they chilling, they hit the ball courts. Why we come at that joint deep as shit? Hey yo, niggas get to looking. So, so Haddington Park, it got like three entrances in the back. Like you can come from this side, this side, and you can walk up back. Man, we. This shit look like a movie. They in that, they in that motherfucker circled in that joint, like circled in that joint, like yeah, niggas like. So like, yeah, what's up with that shit? Like, like, what y'all niggas on? Niggas like, no, we ain't on that. No, that. Like, so niggas get the pass. So like, like an hour or two later, you see niggas on Instagram and shit. Like, yeah, niggas, bitch. They let us walk out that joint. If it was us, they wanna walk out that joint. So we all link up after texting this shit on Instagram and shit for a while, just talking all this shit. All link up with Market Street, whooping niggas. Niggas ass. I'm talking about niggas throwing bricks. Them niggas pull up on bikes, drop the bike, throw a brick in my man. Why hit him in his arm? My man stuffing. We all out there rumbling. This is just a whole bunch of niggas. It was like this back when motherfuckers used to be together. Like it was a whole bunch of blocks. Like you know what I'm saying, a bunch of kids just fucking niggas up. Like we were back then. We was taking niggas shoes. You had polo tees. We ripping it off your chest. All that shit. Like we ain't give a fuck. We still taking niggas shoes to this day. Yeah, we still taking niggas shoes. It don't matter who you is. You a rapper, we'll take your shoes. And, 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 and if you think you, think you thrill and shit, like you see me, I don't know why niggas be thinking they too thrill. Like niggas stand up, wrap their earphones around their phone. Like I'm going to give you all that time. I'm going to stuff you. When I stuff you, I'm taking it. I'm going to keep it a bean. Yeah, we on all that. Yeah, how you out there doing socks and drawers and a beater? I ain't even going to leave. We ain't on no we ain't on no, no dirty shit. <laughs> what got you into rapping? What got me what? Into rapping. <laughs> into rapping? I was in placement. I was in placement for like uh, for like two years. Wait, what's placement? That's like juvenile detention. Okay. Like, for me, I got sent away and all that. Being bad, I was a bad ass young boy. But uh, <laughs> I got sent away and all that. And when I was in placement, I was just right. I was writing, like, cause you ain't had shit to do. You was always sitting in your, in your cell and all that. So I was just writing and shit. So, so when I had came, when I came home, I had my man Eric. My man Rockstar, you know, like, I had rap some shit, I wrote a replacement for him. He was like, bro, that shit really hot. Like, like when you come home, like, I was on the home page, and I had rap that shit, so, so when I went back, and I came home, and I finally got released in the late, he had a studio, like, he had his own studio, and all that. He just let me record for free, like, I had to pay, and all that. He was just like, 
really pushing me, like, bro, you gotta really, like, lock in, for me. And I just, I went from there. What is it that you wanted to be when you was younger? So what was your like? I wanted to be a basketball player. I wanted to go to the NBA. I wrote, I wrote, I wrote in my in my closet in my room growing up. I wrote, I'm going to the NBA. Feel me? Cause I really thought I was going to the. I was tough, like I could really hoop, but like, like I ain't I ain't the biggest nigga. Like I ain't feel me. <laughs> like I wasn't going to the league. Have your sheets ever been taken? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. With I'ma keep it a beat and I lost a phone before though. I, I try to pull the same move I just told other niggas not to pull. Like, we on the L and shit. We on the L and shit. Me and my, it was, back then it used to be my man. Me and this cousin Quats, whatever his name is and shit. We in, so we on the L and shit. Man, I'm listening to music. It's back when everybody said the, the, the wire earphones. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm banging my music. We get on that, we get on that 60th and market. We get the 56th and market. You see a whole big group of niggas. We already know what this is. So we get up, we walk all the way to the end. The last cart. We sitting there, we chilling this shit now. When them niggas walking there with this tall ass light skin nigga, I ain't gonna say his name, but I remember this nigga like it was vivid as shit. He walking his jaw trying to be too thorough. He holding all the joints on the side of him and shit. He get up to us, he like, like, yeah, y'all know y'all fucked up, right? And I'll never forget, back then he was my man. He just jumped out the seat, stuffed the shit out of him, boom. Bull fall into the fucking chair. He, he up in that joint, balled the fuck up, he dicking it. Everybody that this nigga with, just watching my man fuck him up. I'm watching it like, damn. So when? I ain't gonna lie, the good strolling, I get a little good strolling. I look at my man, he over there, Peter Road, I'm Peter Road. They up in this joint talking to us now. Like, like they up in this joint talking to us. Like, Pete, when we when I say Peter Road, I mean like, yeah, you got fucked up. Like, I'm gonna keep it being like you win something, you lose something. We was we was kicking ass in the beginning, but like, as we got to more stops, more niggas was getting on. Like, cause we we from up here, they from down here. So as the that L coming down, more and more niggas getting on. Like, and as they see what's going on, hold on. That's what's his name? That's my man. What's a hooper? What's a hooper? Me and my, I lost my homie. I lost my homie Ja. You feel me? You feel me? Long live Ja and all that. You feel me? All the bros, we all like. We lost Ja's name was Ja the Hooper though, like, you feel me? And we just, we just be hooping for Ja. Like, you could apply, you could apply hooping. We apply hooping to everything we do. Like, you get in the studio, you get in the studio, you working. It's like putting up shots in practice. You feel me? Like performing all that, that's like the game. Like we do a lot of like we just hoop. Like so we the hoop is like and it mean a lot to us, you feel me? Cause it is really for our home. Like our me personally, you feel me, it's really for my home. So What do your friends mean to you? See the first thing that came to my mind, like just on the everybody say everything, but no like my friends, my manager for you feel me? Everybody like really my world, like like I ain't gonna say like I ain't gonna say too much. It's really understandable. Like just off our relationship, how they act. Just you see how they act. We don't play about each other. Like we we don't lost people in this shit. We we lost homies to the system. We lost homies to gun violence. Long live long live Jai. Long live Drive. Crazy Will. Long live Steve Drive. For me, we lost Top. a lot of homies. For me, the bros got long live Bug. For Bro, me, it's a lot of homies. Rich homie Quine, you know what I'm saying? But like we just everything. We each other like that's all we we were all we got, you feel me? We all we got. And the crazy thing is like I remember when I like not too long after that shit, like my birthday came when I turned fifteen. When I turned fifteen, that's when that's when like shit really hit the fan. I, I was off the porch when I was 14, 13, 12, shit like that. I was just running around doing my thing. But like when I when fifteen, when I was fifteen, that's when the shit really like you know what I'm saying, like shit really got gritty out here. That's when like niggas was really coming over this young. Fuck fights now, niggas is like, yeah, that shit going places, like, shit changed, like, for other niggas, that shit started in their teens, like, they started to get, like, 16, 17, over here, that shit started, niggas, like, and now it's getting worse, you can see it, you might, you gotta watch out for a little ass boy that walked past you, you gotta watch that little nigga, you might turn around and pop your top, real rap, 12, 13, 12, 13. the little nigga that talk all that shit that you thought ain't on shit, like, he, yeah, I get my big brothers for you whole time, he know what his bro big brothers got, he ain't gonna go get them no more, he gonna go get that. And when he go get that, you gonna think he playing when he walk up on you and be like, yeah, I'm 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 gonna kill you. And you like, nigga, young boy, you ain't gonna do nothing. You gonna turn your back and you gonna bust your fucking top. And you gonna be like, damn. You gonna you gonna pop up that motherfucker like, oh, that little nigga really ain't fucking yo. <laughs> <laughs> These kids ain't out here playing no more, bro. You gotta stay on top of everything, bro. What is it that you wanted to do when you was uh 
younger. I always see myself rapping. I've been rapping since like 12 or something. You can check me out on Instagram. I said Instagram, fuck it. YouTube. 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 He wanted to be a zookeeper. He wanted to work with the gorillas and tame monkeys. That's what the fuck he wanted to do. He wanted to talk to snakes and shit. Like I, I always like I was I was a little nigga that never really hung with the little niggas. I was with the, the my older brothers until my older brothers like that shit did. Like you ain't about to do the same thing we doing and none of that, but I still not doing the same shit. I didn't see you collab with a lot of people. Is there a reason behind that? Honestly, I ready to do music with my homies. You feel me? I got I got my man QB right here, my man QB be raping this back door. You feel me? My man Tay Savage, Tay Savage be raping. Baby Hooper be rapping, KD, Fat Fat, you feel me, bro be rapping. I got a couple Kwani, you feel me? I got a couple rappers that's really gonna come up. My man Kai, like I got rappers, and then all my circle. So I, I read the bill with the people I'm with. And, and, and like I said in the beginning, like it's a lot of dicky in the city. So like when you work with certain niggas, like the fans, whoever they they got a lot to say about this shit. They be trying to put shit together. They be thinking motherfuckers done locked in and they, for me, we ain't Jack on it. We won't be on it. For me, we are ready to do this shit ourselves. For me, and this ain't even all my homies. I got a lot of homies locked up. For me, free L2, free 9K, free Boonski, free, 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 free FBR, free the guys, free Blake, 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 Blake Snow. I got free a lot of homies. Free, free, free Lee, free niggas don't know what I'm doing. Free Grand Slam. I got a lot of homies booked. Like, niggas that would have been right here with me. For me, it's crazy. My man, my man Grand Slam got booked on my birthday on his way to me. Free Kane. Free Kane. Free Big Free Kane. Free, oh free, free Bigfoot on the guys. Free who? Big, free Bigfoot. Mr. 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 Stand on Business. Mr. Take a nigga, take a rape for shoes. Mr. Take a rape for shoes. Mr. Take, Mr. Mr. Step on next and take a chains on the guys. Take rape for shoes. Who is someone that you'd like to work with in the future? Oh, in the future, like in the industry in general. For me, I ain't gonna lie. Uh. And be a young boy. On the guys, I was NBA about to say. Boy. On the guys. But like, guys. if it ain't even, if it ain't even be a young boy, like, 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 uh, Skiller Baby, uh, uh, I respect a couple, like, I respect a couple, a lot of rappers out here, like, it's mainstream. But the guys too, T Savage, Q Big, I want to mm -hmm. work with the Bruce, KD, BB Hooper. For me, I want to build with my niggas. Do you guys still get scared? Do we get scared? Yeah. Only thing I'm scared of, only I'm, I'm gonna keep it being. Oh my god! Is only thing I'm scared bro, of is the red and blue lights, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my god! Only thing I'm scared of. I run like I run like, like Nate, Nate. Oh my god! And, 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 and I'm scared of and losing somebody like I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared of losing people that I care about, bro. I'm a real nigga, for me. I, I don't want to lose people. Dead phone. Been a dead phone. I'm scared of a dead phone. Crack a hat. Get back. Like you never ran before. Be outside with a dead phone. The crazy thing is, you have a, all the real Wait. niggas know, man, that shit's scary for real, for real. When the police bind you and you on foot, that adrenaline kicking in, you start <laughs> falling for no reason. Man. You start thinking like, man, fuck it. I'm about to stop, but if you got that hot, I'm gonna make it back to the block, go to God. Wait, have you ever had a police chase before? Man, we not, man. 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 Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. bro. Listen, I ain't gonna lie, we If three was here. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, yeah, yeah. My man, my man, my man, three, three really got us, I said day. three got us out of two chases in one day. I ain't gonna lie. Like, and you just a rapper, you don't participate in gunplay. And it wasn't even, <laughs> it wasn't even, it wasn't even that type of chase. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been a couple chases. Chasing each other. Yeah, yeah, but like, like, we be dicking them. Oh, we be dicking the cops. We be dicking the cops. That's three. Whoa. Little pull over. We got to call three real quick. Give them a little pull over. Pull over. Did 12 so dirty. As soon as they get out. Did 12 so dirty in the chase. Pull over. Walk right past them. They was mad in the car. Talk about the vehicle. That was the funniest shit of my life. Yo, no, no bullshit. I done got in the cop chase right ahead to sit on the porch. So like, I'm running through alleys and shit. I take all my clothes off. I sit on the porch. I sit on the front porch. Like, cops block, block off. I'm in front of and shit. I see all these cops jumping out of my face and shit. So I'm like, damn. They run past me and all that. So the cop coming up the block, I'm like, damn, what happened? He like, oh, some guys around the corner jumped out, bailed out with their guns. I'm like, oh shit, for real, whole time. I ain't play it up. 
I ain't getting booked. Three now. When it come down to police, I'm disrespectful like two fat bitches. Yo, let me see the pleasure. Real life. I got nothing good to say to them niggas. Like, I always listen to my mind. for three? We just want to be here. Don't say nothing. If you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing. We wouldn't be out here three. But when it come down to them niggas, I got to let them niggas know. Like, you like you a bitch ass nigga. Like, the way you like the way you like it. Nigga, I don't like it. Y'all niggas be moving iffy. Oh, hold on, I'm not even going to draw on somebody, but I know y'all smell it, right? If you could change one thing about Philly, what would it be? I don't want to change nothing, man. The dick what this shit? No, 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 not even a dick <laughs> run. No, like, it'd be a lot of dick yeah, run, though. Like, niggas be, stuck. niggas just be like, it'd be too much going on, because we, we, we could say that, because, like, we don't dick run nobody. We don't click with nobody. We don't, we don't, you feel me? We got our name. Off our name, we built it by ourselves. You feel me? So we really came from the mud. We don't got no cosigns. We don't pay for no no promo. None of that. We in, other, in other words, uh, we not doing no dick ride. You feel me? <laughs> <But> like <laughs> I want to change nothing. I want to change nothing in the city though. Like we're oh, like okay. just let like, everything like. like Get it, you know how you get we it? not dick ride for a name. We took the hard away word. from the guys. We not dick ride for a name. We took the hard away. And where can people find you? Mm, I'm on everywhere. Uh, Apple Music, YouTube, Instagram, One Remo. Your mom house, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Might catch me in your sister room on the guy. You know? <laughs> She get busy around this yo, job. She yeah, might want to just experience the Hooper bash. The Hooper bash. Yeah. <laughs> Bring a friend or two and we can have a Hooper, Hooper bash. Is <laughs> okay, so I've just left their place where they were just at and I'm going to go meet them at the studio. But these guys are super duper chilled. Like, I don't know what I expected, but there's like a very mellow energy about them. There's one person who's like a comedian and a hyper guy, which every group has. But, um, all the rest of them are like proper children in their element like it's a little vibe um, but i'm gonna go to the studio now and you guys are coming with me so let's go that's about being like I said, on my next tape and shit. Yeah, I, I I got a lot of music, like a lot. I don't really drop too crazy. I be, we be like, everything a strategy with us. You feel me? We won't just give them everything. So like, some songs I made, like I was just trying to build my sound up more. Like I, I ain't even, it ain't even for other people ears. It was just for me, like to help me get everything together. And the shit I'm giving them, like that's like the finished products, like what I, my whole process. You feel me? Uh huh. I was just watching the Hoopers. You feel me? A vlog with Khadija, you feel me? I appreciate y'all for watching. Feel me? New music coming soon. I'm gonna drop my bomb all year, all 2024, you feel me? Hoop or die, you feel me?